Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at some new CCTV footage that has been released. And it's higher quality, it's higher resolution from the convenience store, and we get a better sense of the dynamics of the relationship between Son Jung Min and Mr. A. And my cat, hi, how are you? So all this time we've been talking about them definitely a lot and rather than having accounts from other people it, sometimes I think it'd be good for you guys to just take a direct look as much as you can from as much as I can gather and put together it in one piece for you to see just with your own eyes you know what the dynamic was. So we have some CCTV footage from the convenience store that you probably haven't seen before. Some more high resolution uh, footage from the park that you probably have seen up until now. And some of the dancing scenes and then that golden scene, which has been a little bit harder to come by. So I kind of threw that in there as well. So this is sort of like a just a compendium of some of the moments between the boys to see some of the human aspects and to really kind of gauge a sense how close were they because in the police report according to Mr. A's side they were close they were close enough to go on trips together so of course the implication there is why would he hurt a friend from SJM's father's side He's saying like they're trying to have it both ways. They're saying that, okay, you're, you say that you're close enough to just call my son on a random whim and go out drinking, even though he's messaged another friend saying it's a little bit weird. And then at the same time, your own parents say that, oh, we're not that close because we can't call you in the middle of the night if there's an emergency, so that's why we waited. So the first thing you should know is that before they even enter the tunnel, they've already gone to a different convenience store at 10.53, and Mr. A paid for the purchases. It was a total of four bottles, and you know, this was, a two 360 milliliter chamisu and two bottles of chungha. And so presumably they're in the backpack. So that is before they get into the tunnel. And so we don't have that footage. But what is new now is the 1114 footage of the convenience store where you know, they probably realize, oh wait, we have all this alcohol, but now we need some food. So they get some chal chin sunde. So I think that's the rice-based blood sausage, odeng, fish sausage, and the home run choco balls. Those are so popular, but I think they just taste like, like wax paper with a little bit of chocolate inside. But people love them and little kids will go crazy. So if you ever need to meet up with little kids and like you're like so old and you're just like, oh my God, like I have no idea why I'm supposed to bring these kids, just get those home run things and just, you know, throw them at them and they'll be like, oh my God, how cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the 1114. Did you notice that it's much clearer video than we've seen before and the jacket is not blurred out so there was like a lot of debate before of like what's the were the letters in english or were they in korean um so it's basically the chinese characters you can also see them in the convenience store so this is 1114 so that you can see that oh, there's the home run balls right at the top that's a backpack with all of his electronic equipment and probably the bottles that they bought at the other convenience store so so that's pretty normal there here's another look at it 
swings it up yeah so it looks pretty heavy you know there were a lot of people like kind of saying like oh why did he have his backpack at 11 14 but not an hour later did he you know is there are there other people so there's this kind of like this theory of like are there other people um because he has his backpack here with his valuables but he just left his backpack somewhere else but at the same time they just walked into the park so this is like they haven't gotten to their spot yet and they um, haven't sat down yet. They probably are like, look, we have the drinks, but we don't have any food. So before we sit down, let's get some food. So then that's 1114. Okay. And so this video comes from, so as you see that like guy in the bottom that looks like a ninja, he is Chongyi TV and he's the one that got this footage he went directly to the convenience store and somehow hustled his way and somebody asked him uh how he got this footage when other people couldn't and he had like kind of a flippant answer he's like hey don't ask a master how he does his work you know it's like major league baseball you know the major leagues they do their thing you know you don't ask them how they do okay so here's the 1245 i just wanted to make one note when we had also on this schedule see he made this nice little schedule of the purchases 11:33, about 15 minutes afterwards there's a purchase for the picnic mat and this is apparently just sjm by himself so that's why the, he's just like there's no point in showing the video because he went by himself it doesn't show anything about the dynamics between the two and he also bought Uyu so cocoa. That sounds like chocolate milk. So you can tell like these these guys are like still in between like you know that age like high school, college, you're still kind of I mean, you know, they're probably still I think probably like they're college kids who live at home. Yeah. <laughs> Eating Choco balls and chocolate milk. Okay, so then now let's look at 1245. So at 1245, they're buying more alcohol. So perhaps they, you know, ran through those four bottles before. And this time they're going big because, you know, they want to buy a big plastic bottle of chamisu and a big old plastic bottle of makoli and they're also buying a cable to charge Mr. A's phone and the theory there is that uh, he's just using his uh, MacBook or tablet to charge his phone so that's why it's a very slow charge so you see like whoa he uh, goes in for like this hug and then SMJ is like, okay, um, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna, you know, brush you off because um, I don't want you to do that, but uh, you want something from me, so I'll give you a little something, something. And then he goes like, okay, fine. Oh, and then he goes in for another hug. See, like this guy. And then, okay, so now that I think, okay, let's pause it right there. That I think is key if you didn't pick up on that. Like, the mainstream media who wants to kind of like paint this whole thing is like oh my god this is like such a bromance this is like oh they're so friendly together i see it's obviously that sjm is being very polite and mr a just really wants a lot of attention like he is starving for some sort of connection I don't know how far he wants this connection to go, but it looks like he wants some connection. And when he, when SJM takes those bottles and goes like this, almost like an air traffic controller saying, please put some distance in between me and you, we have a airspace right here. I think that says like, I need some distance. Let's keep going. And look, he's just, yeah. And then he's like, See, handshake, it's kind of like, can we agree that it's kind of like no homo zone for right now, please? Handshake, all right, okay. But, I don't know, 
another negotiation. Uh oh, another going in. He's like, wait, wait, I thought we talked about, oh no. And then he's like, all right, hands off, please. Hands off. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Watch it again on your own without my commentary. All right, so now this next scene is the one that we've seen a lot before. And I think when we first saw this, like when this whole case came out, it looked like they it was like the first time they came into the uh, convenience store for the night. But this is actually the last time. This is the 133. So they have been drinking uh, a bit. So you can obviously see SJM is like on the phone. He's probably like trying to figure out like, where the order is for the coupon eats. Yep, he's getting the call from the delivery man. Delivery man's like, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna, mm -hmm, we're gonna get over there soon. And then they go. And then remember the part where they were running? Um, that's them actually running to try to meet the delivery man. Uh, Cause you know, it's rude to keep them waiting and you know, they gotta make their money. They can't just wait there forever for you. So they went and got the food. And then now remember like they were filming some of those Instagram videos that apparently they posted at around 150. So this is some of the dance footage and Mr. A dancing and drinking straight out of the bottle. So I guess at some point Maybe he got a little bit hot and took off his jacket. Okay. Now. Now let's take a look at that mysterious bow. And when people are still trying to suss out what this golden means. Because basically, nobody knows what this word golden means. Um, there's some theories about it. Does it refer to the rapper G Soul? But it doesn't seem like it fits into the context of the sentence. It only fits into the context of like they were talking about rappers before and after. Does it refer to something in terms of a video game like the golden level? But people, other people have said that you know, they wouldn't have used uh, the word golden. It would have been gold. So then other people are saying drugs. I don't know. So let's take a look. See you in the dark night. I have to ski. Golden color, Pazza. So you can see like they're really, you know, having a good time. They're kind of drunk. And... So this whole bowing thing, like in Korean culture, like this is like a huge um, meaning to bow in front of somebody else. It means like you're really um, lowering yourself in terms of respect or putting yourself in an inferior position. Um, in this way, you know, were they playing a game? Were they having some sort of like a like a hazing or a shaming thing going on or did Mr. A do something that was really bad that needed a huge sign of apologies like where you can't just say hey I'm sorry or I'm really sorry like he had to go over the top I mean like I am so 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 sorry like so in Korea essentially like if you want to express like to the utmost um, and you ha immediately have access to like what's in your control to say, I am so sorry, you can do that. And if you do that, like I've even seen this done in like the office. 
and um, yeah, it, it does send the message. It's, it does basically sends the message. It's just like you're right, I'm wrong. I'm a I'm a peon. You're the boss. I sorry, I messed up. So maybe he's doing that, but then he's also like being like tongue in cheek by like throwing up the kind of signs and singing. So we don't know exactly what it all means, but he is saying you should forgive me for Golden. Like you should kind of give me a pass for Golden. And then SJM is like, yeah, 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 well, we'll give you a pass. And he's like, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Like, it's just, it is what it is. So what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, so let's look at the shoes again. Huh. So I'm gonna pause it here. When he comes back, and we're gonna go to that video next, when he goes alone at 432 out of the tunnel, I always thought he looked a little shorter than when he walked in. And so, you know, there was all these people saying like, oh, it might be a different guy. I think when I look at, and then the shoes kind of look a little bit too big, they don't fit. Now, if we are going to believe that, yeah, they were Mr. A shoes, I'm thinking like just looking at the shot of his shoes and where his uh, feet are in relation, I think he might be wearing like little lifts in there. And so if those lifts had fallen out for some reason, uh, then there would be extra space in his shoes. That's probably why it wouldn't his feet wouldn't fit as well as they had before. And that's probably why he might have looked a little shorter coming out than he did going in. Okay, so let's look at that, him going out in higher resolution this time. Next, we're moving on to the park. After he's gone home, supposedly changed, gone back to the park. You know, remember he arrived, hopped the fence with his dad at 512. And so this would be around 540. And he is, so we're gonna see now, the infamous walk where he has like one hand in one pocket and one hand, one hand holding the phone. So this is higher resolution and him in his slippers and looking like he just ignored the phone call. So, you know, in Korea, what are those little signs uh, that uh, kind of shape public opinion? The one hand in the pocket looking cocky and then also wearing slippers and doing things. So that definitely didn't help uh, his case out here. All right, next, uh, he's returned the phone and he's coming back through the tunnel to meet up with his parents. So remember when his dad was like creeping in the tr like behind the tree, waiting for his, his son to see if his son was like, I guess alone or something. Now we're gonna see it more in higher resolution. I don't know how he does this without sleep. He, he's probably almost like 24 hours without sleep at this point. So it's 5.49. What happened? What happened two hours ago, Mr. A? We really wanna know. So people always wondered about who was that bicycle man? All oh, right, he's coming out, right? And apparently he's on the phone. So he's like kind of doing like a walk and talk. And then you see Mr. A just be like, hey dad, fall on the ground. I mean like, 
I guess he thinks he owns the park, like the park is his bed. And then he meets up with his dad. Dad, I think, says, like, hey, get up off the floor. Ay, ay, ay. What a mess. And then I think it keeps going and then they find eventually, yep, the mother comes. And then we've had a lot of the zoom in shots of them all looking a little suspicious, too, a little bit too anxiously at once towards the CCTV camera. They're having some sort of like family discussion, some dialogue. Doesn't look like they're doing too well here. And then he falls down again and does something similar as a gesture to basically say like, I am so, so sorry, right? So he is very apparently used to this method of communication to say sorry. The utmost in sorry. Wait. Now they walk off. Mother kind of trails behind a little bit. So, yeah. I don't know how that colors it either way um, in unsolving the mystery, but I just thought like it could kind of give more of a human aspect to, you know, some of the discussions we've been having about uh, this case. And in the next video, we're going to talk about Mr. A's phone this time. It has been discovered after weeks of being missing, and it has also a mysterious story attached to how it was found. We'll get into it. All right, guys. See ya. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Love you.